Hello. 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 We're back again with... <laughs> oh, hi, Popsy. Hi. We're back with our third recipe from the Riverford Farmers. This one is quick beet borscht with ricotta dumplings, which sounds really complicated, um, but will be amazing. And here my mum is very nicely grating some beetroot and she's loving it, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I've tasted some as well and it's lovely. Is it yummy? Mm. Okay. Over here, we've got a pan of boiling water ready to make the dumplings and that's been sat there for a, a few minutes, just, you know, boiling away. And in here, we've got two tablespoons of oil um, and we've thrown in some celery, one stick of celery and one large shallot. And that smells... Aha, uh -huh, that's your lot, your lot. Uh -huh. It's just so funny. And that smells really good. And then I'm just going to turn that down a little bit because I don't want it to burn. So that's been frying away all nicely in there. And then back oh. over here, down as well. we've got... <laughs> that's nothing to do with this. <laughs> Um, we've got one potato here that I have chopped up. <laughs> There's one potato, not two potato, three two potato, potato, four, or more. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I what. think I need a drink. <laughs> I don't think you do. Oh, I think I need a drink. I'm going to have um, my coffee. I, I I knew what I was saying, and now it's <laughs> it's gone. Right. So when you've finished with that beetroot, <laughs> it wants to go in that pan. <laughs> seeds, two cloves and some cinnamon. What's that one? Oh, light brown sugar thing. Oh yep, that one wants to go in as well, the sugar. Can you see the colour? Oh, that is really good. Mm. Oh, yummy. So that wants to cook two minutes. for another two minutes, yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Mm. Right, we've simmered that for, cooked that for another two minutes, sorry. And now we're going to add the bouillon powder. I presume that's how you pronounce that. Water. So there's 800 ml of water going in there, which seems like such a lot, but that's what it says. So we need the bouillon. And then the bouillon powder. And the vinegar. And the cider, cider vinegar. Cider vinegar. Mmm, that bouillon powder it smells good. It's a lovely little bottle. Oh, mm, isn't it? You're going to keep that, aren't you? I think I might. Mm. It might come in handy for something. And so now that um, season, you've got the pepper there, haven't you? Yep. Season and simmer for 15 minutes or until everything is just tender. Mm, okay. So a quarter past seven. A quarter past seven. We've been doing this since 11 o'clock mm. this morning. <laughs> Well, not this particular recipe. No, it does not take that long. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's going to stay on there for 15 minutes. And then, meanwhile, over yonder... Oh, are we doing this? Yeah. We are going to crumble the ricotta cheese. Right, I'll take my wings off. Okay.
Right, we're now coming back over to our pan of boiling water and we're going to drop that down to a gentle simmer. And then, there we are. We're going to put the dumplings one at a time with a slotted spoon into the water. We've just got an apple here and I'm going to finely dice that, possibly. I'm going to chop it up and pretend that that's what finely dicing is. But it smells amazing. It just, I think it's just been picked off as sweet. It is. Well, it probably has. The, the freshness of these products is unbelievable. They all smell amazing. apple here ready to garnish we've got our bowls ready we've with this the meals are actually for two but we're we're feeding three people so no way. but yeah the, they are the portions are quite big so there is enough enough for three um so we've got the borscht here which is pretty much ready to go and then the dumplings so we're just going to serve it up now <laughs> 